Hey, good morning guys. This is Stephen Howard. My dog Yucca and Rio are safe in the off-grid cabin with Lori. Probably sitting on the deck enjoying some sunshine. Uh, I was able to work about 20 minutes this morning and now I, uh, I just need to go and rest and be done with the day. Uh, I can't push myself too hard, uh, PT and physical therapy and all of the injections in my back and everything else that has gone on. Um, my father just uh, came up to Montana and I can't, I can't say enough awesome things. Um, you know, my dad's still alive. He's uh, 77 and... Uh, it just touches my heart deeply that he was able to come up and spend some time with us and see the lay of the land. And um, I just praise the blessings that he delivered by coming here and approving of everything that I've done, the hard work that I've done, uh, Lori has done. Um, we're both very hard workers and we worked hard on this cabin and this land and, uh, making Montana our home. And, uh, he really appreciated that. He fell asleep on my couch with his dog in his lap and it was the most precious moment I've had in about 10 years. Um, you know, just to give you a history on me, uh, personally, uh, Lori was part of my journey. Uh, she came along three years ago in Nevada. And then she left after about six months, five months, and went up to help her sister who had cancer and luckily has recovered. And then Lori went to Bozeman, Montana and got real stable and got me out of Nevada. But prior to that, I had years of homelessness, living out of a car, um, trying to survive, trying to have enough money, trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my personal, you know, uh, stability and abundance. And um, then recently being injured and having uh, all last winter and all through this spring having extreme pain in my lower back and nerve damage from a work-related accident. And uh, then learning the laws in Montana and how things work. And it's just been a, a nightmare, honestly. But the, the thing is, is while you're going through all this stuff and your personal life, you got to use, use all that as fuel. And use it to drive and motivate yourself to at least get out and do what you can do. And do it within a few moments and get it done. And then worry about it later. And maybe you could get some help. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's really important that communities start helping each other. And the people that are you know, doing the right things, get recognized for what they do and who they are, and uh, that we give a little bit more of a award or reward for all the toils and labor that go into something like this. And the reward is, I'm sitting on a stump, and I'm looking out at this. All I hear is wind in the trees, the creek running, birds chirping, and bees buzzing, and the occasional hummingbird. Anyway, I'm on, uh, on top of about a 45 degree slope. And the road's down there, so it's it's dangerous, but uh, got to do what you got to do, you know. Um, the firewood's not going to gather itself. 
Anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. Uh, if your parents are still alive, give them a call. Tell them how much they love you and then listen to them uh, for some time. You might be amazed. And then uh, if they're not, if they've passed on or they're uh, like my mother kind of disowned you, then uh, pray for them and channel your message through meditation and love and sitting out in a place that you know they would enjoy and you wish they could come to. And um, yeah, just try and heal, man. That's all we can do is try and heal. Try and heal others. Try and heal ourselves. Do the best we can. And it hurts. It hurts real bad. Uh, to all our vets uh, who passed on in wars trying to win our freedom, um, my hat's off to you. You know, Marines run into the sound of danger. So just remember that when you're going through your own life. Don't, don't pull out your phone and record it. Don't run away, run towards that shit and take care of it, take care of business. And um, I guarantee you that we will all ascend and meet up in a, a much better place in a much better time. But all we can do right now is appreciate where we're at. Thanks for watching, guys.